Today we will be going over the different inventory costing methods. There are four different methods that can be used when determining inventory costs. The first one is specific ID or specific identification. The second one is average costing. The third one is first in, first out, but is more likely going to be called FIFO. And the fourth one is last in, first out, also most commonly referred to as LIFO. The specific identification method is used when businesses cost their inventories at the specific cost of that particular unit. This usually occurs when the company has less but more unique inventory items, such as cars or jewelry. This is a more expensive and time-consuming method but it is useful in unique industries when everything is priced very differently. It wouldn't be fair if they assign the same cost to everything whenever they are all so different. The second method is the average costing method. This is based on the average cost of inventory during the period. It is a simplified version compared to the specific ID. Your average cost per unit would be cost of goods available for sale, divided by the number of units available. This means that no matter what unit you're selling or the consumer has bought, we just apply that average cost of goods sold to it. The third method is the first in, first out method. The cost of inventory first bought is the cost assigned to cost of goods sold, meaning the, oldums, the oldest items are assumed to be sold first. Ending inventory cost is based on the most recent last purchases. This is the assumption that we have sold everything that we bought in the beginning, so ending inventory is only our most recent inventory purchases. Our fourth method is last in, first out, LIFO. This is the cost of the most recent inventory purchase goes into COGS first. And ending inventory is valued at the cost of the first purchase items. We assume that the newest inventory bought is sold before the older inventory. This is the exact opposite of FIFO. So a good way to remember this would be whenever the newest iPhones come out, of course they can assume that they have sold more of the iPhone 12s than they have of the iPhone 10s in the last year because they are the newer item. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.